me in this wonderfully lovely house that we just bought six months ago. We have a leak and it's sad. It's very sad, but the roofer is here. So have no fear. Okay. So we're going to continue on with our prep of, I see. Thanks, sweetie. Thanks for entertaining the viewer. All right, let's see. I want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing, so. But I also don't want the camera to fall into the, or my phone to fall into the food. Um, so, anyway, uh, next step, we're gonna go ahead and. Zero viewers. Yes, I know, there's zero viewers. I will point that out myself. You don't have to help with that. Okay. Thank you, dear wife. <laughs> Alright, so now I am going to get the shrimp ready. Um, this, like I said, is going to be a poultry and seafood gumbo. Um, I can never find what I want, which is tail on already peeled jumbo shrimp. So, because I can't, uh, get me about or paper towels on it. All right, so now we're going to peel some shrimp. I'll go ahead and get me another set of gloves. I get four paper towels. Yay. Good job. Okay. I wear the gloves to protect you. Not me. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> okay. You wear the gloves to protect the food. Well, I wear the gloves to protect my hands, to keep them from getting covered in the food particles that may or may not have bacteria in them. You can't see the, the watch. It's fun. It's I fun. Can't see mine. Yes, I know you can see yours, but it's you're also not. Yes, it is already 12. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and peel these shrimp. If you've never peeled shrimp before. Um, I'm going to watch close up. Uh, the kind that I have here are the easy peel. Mm, lovely. Okay. Nice big chunk of just ice there. Get that out the way. Um, I started these defrosting maybe about half hour ago. What about the crab? Uh, the crab meat's already defrosted, sweetie. So, we're not going to have to defrost it. Uh, you want to go ahead and if it's not, if the uh, shrimp hasn't fully, um, if all the ice hasn't melted out of the shrimp, um, go ahead and pull your big chunks out. This will just make it easier and make your hands burn less as you're um, peeling these things because it can get really cold really quickly. Um, if you've got ice that you're dealing with. So, I'm going to pull these bigger chunks out. Um, you just dropped one. Yes, sweetie. I know I dropped one. Mm, and I love the smell of shrimp. Me too. I know some people don't. They don't like that, that seafood smell, but I do. Okay. So, uh, in my gumbo, we leave the... Here we go. All right, so in my gumbo, we leave the shells on, basically, or the tails on. Um, it just, they like it that way. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and peel the rest of the shell off. I don't like it that way. Oh, you want the tails off? Yeah. Oh, I was leaving it on for you. Okay, never mind. We're going to completely peel these things. Only fried tails. Only fried tails. Okay, I'm sorry. So... Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and completely peel these shrimp uh, so that we can uh, enjoy them in our gumbo. Okay? So, nobody's let's get started. Written yet anymore. No, nobody's written yet, but we do have a viewer. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop the peeled ones back in the same bowl. There's no reason to dirty another bowl. Is the um, burglar still here? Yeah, the, um, he's the roofer. He's not a burglar. Mess with the oh, you, the spammer? Mm -hmm. No, no. The, the spammers uh, pop in, leave their spam, and pop out. 
so that they can't be tracked because uh, you know reasons these are easy peel oh look there's a baby look how sweet that baby is is he such a sweet baby are you just the sweetest baby ever <laughs> anyway um so i'm going to go ahead and continue this process um these are drumbo shrimp um uh, uh let's see uh yeah that's just uh a discord that's not a uh, twitch message sadly the twitch message will come up on the ipad uh, because I don't have, um... But there's a black screen to show. Oh, yeah. I forgot to move that out of the way. So I can see chat messages up there as well. Um, it just not as well. Um, just simply because I can't, uh, I can't read that I from here. Another one. But if any of my Discord... I don't know who the one person is in my stream. It might be uh, my lovely wife. Oh, it ain't you? Huh. Well, whoever it is in my stream, whoever's watching, if you would, uh, please um, comment so I can welcome you to this stream. Um, and like I said earlier, uh, I'll remind again, if you're watching on, say, Facebook or something like that, um, and it's not actually doing it through, uh, if you're not commenting through Twitch, I will not see your chats. Um, that is a lack of equipment on my part. I don't have five screens that I can mirror all the different various uh, places at. So I can't be watching Twitter and every place else um, for comments. So, if you would like to comment and participate in the chat, please come on over to twitch.tv forward slash Skinnerness um, and join me as I cook this wonderful gumbo. Um, I mean, this is all part of cooking. Uh, this stuff right here, which, you know, not a lot of people like doing, uh, this is all part of it. This is all part of making a meal uh, that everyone can enjoy. Um, I know, right? Shrimp is so smell good. Um, so one of the one of the things that I learned a long time ago for peeling shrimp is uh, this little method right here. Take a uh, old plastic Walmart bag, line it with paper towels to catch the juice, and just now I can help put all your shells in it. Watch, and then I have to go to seasoning stuff and give you seasoning. Right, well, we'll get there eventually. Um, I mean, there's still quite the process left. I've got to take the cooked turkey and cut it up into... What are you doing? What, what do you mean, what am I doing? Why are you taking this... The what stuff off? That's the shell, sweetie. That was its exoskeleton. Ew. What? Exoskeleton. Well, it's better than an endo... Dang it. I knew I was going to do that eventually. Better than an endoskeleton. Ew. You know, then we'd have to eat around its bones. Ew. So that was its shell, which acts as an exoskeleton. Uh, it keeps it safe while it's in the water from predators. Um, and uh, when it's time to, as they grow, their shell doesn't grow. It, uh, a new one forms that's soft underneath the original one. Mm -hmm. And the original one um, falls off. How? It's called molting. Like, like, like. Like a snake does. Yeah, and we found that about roaches? I don't know. Roaches do that too? I didn't know that. No, I mean... I don't know. It was just like a bug, and we were watching it get out of its skin. Oh, I see. Now, the thing about uh, most meat, and uh, if you haven't worked with, uh, you know, depending on your age, um, how much you've worked with, uh, most meat, um, if it's got a bone or a shell or something like that, they try... 
to offset some of it weight wise, but you're paying for the bones or whatever else. Um, that is just the case with it. Um, the, uh, that's part of the weight. So when I get done with this bag, um, I know it said I had two pounds of meat. I ain't got two pounds of meat. Um, so, I mean, this process takes a while. That's why like on like, uh, like a cooking show or something like that, they've got all this stuff already prepped up and done because, you know, it doesn't necessarily make the best TV for this to be done. Unless you're really good. I am not really good. You are? So, no, no. Yeah. There are people who are much better at this than me. If, oh, sweetie, go open the door, please. Uh, you're about to hear about my roof, whoever you are. Open the door. Uh, Omri, come talk to the people. Tell them what you know about time. So, the small hand is the hour, and the long hand is the minute. And I got a watch for Christmas. It has llama stars and rainbows. a matching bracelet from Mama to me, and we both have one. I got one from Mama, and she got one from me. And so, my shirt has unicorns on it. It says, love, L, O, the unicorn, O, the Send a message if you're a little bit of a one. You have to go to Twitch. I don't know the rest, I guess. Stop sending it. I want you to pop turn it to that. a message? Oh, why? And you have to go to Twitch. Go to Twitch. Dot Skinnerness forward slash. Oh, that's not how you say it. Sorry. 
Does it switch? That far can I see on you? There's a shrimp in the oven. Get this. Exoderm off from the tail. And you can see. No, it's not. It, it is kind of isolated, yeah. but um, I don't want to let it get any worse. Yes. Um, yeah, I would say if it doesn't get any worse than this, it would be fine to let it just ride out. It would increase the cost more so than what it would take to get this replaced. But if this starts, you know, spreading any more so where it's going to go that way or touch another sheep this way, then you just give me a call. I'll come out target it before it can really get any chance. But either way it goes, you're probably going to have to have this remudded, taped, and then stitched yeah. in place. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I knew that. So, um, but yeah, so far this is the only damage. So right now, my main focus is get that repaired to where it stops He's doing. Still nobody. Yeah. Can you get the skin this thing I'll again? I'll just get the information I have back over to Mark, the salesman. He should quote everything down for you and give you an estimated price. Uh, what I was going to say, if you guys do have to get worse, I can give you a business card with my number. I'm the one emergency on call to come see why they can't buy. Pop, there's uh, one viewer. If it gets worse, give me a call. I'll come out and just try to target this area. Off. This is like even during the, the hurricane and then the yeah. other big storm that followed afterwards, this is as bad as it gets. Okay, just a slight drip. Okay, well, that should be fine. As long as it doesn't get worse, that's what I'm saying. If it gets worse than this, then it will increase that damage to where it'd probably be better to go ahead and tarp it. Mm -hmm. But it's just going to stay like this, and I'll just try to ride it out so you can actually get the repair done. Yeah, and, and, and that's kind of my goal is, is was to do that. Yeah, I guess. So. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and get my business card. I've got my uh, number on it for you. Or, yeah, yeah. I'll call you. I apologize about that. That's all right. But I'll get a business card. I'll be right back. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. So, and they still they still not co commenting, huh? Uh -huh. I don't know, sweetie. I don't know. Um, okay, so apparently my roof is pitched improperly, um, and the high pitch is flowing water up under the lower pitch, and so the water's just going phew, right in and through my roof. Um, so that's going to be fun and possibly super expensive to repair. Um, we shall see. We shall see. It's not fun. Yeah. Anyway, um, I will return to uh, peeling shrimp as soon as he comes back in with his business card. And, uh, and then we'll get back going. So uh, the fun. I think he's coming. Oh, okay. Go open the door, sweetie. You didn't lock it, did you? Okay. Thank you. Omri, you did, that was rude. You don't close the door on someone. The phone's on the back. Okay, phone number's on the back. Excellent. So if we need to get it tarped. All right. So. All right, so we're going to use them to uh, hopefully get our... Uh, Roof done. All right, so back to the sh the cooking. All right, so we've got just a few shrimp left. Um, hopefully, he siliconed it up so where that leak will at least stop for now. But we're gonna have to actually get it fixed, which makes me sad. Um, uh, so we just had a beautiful house, and now it's all torn up. It's not all torn up, but y'all aren't helping. 
Y'all are not helping. Oh, there's another piece of shell. Okay, so we're just trying to get all the shells removed and everything. Get it all out so that um, when we put it in, uh, people won't be biting into shell while they're trying to eat their gumbo. Look, there's another one. Is this shell hard? Oh, a little. It's it it's thick and crunchy. All right. Oh, and you can kind of feel it if you're paying attention. It the shrimp feels differently. So I'm gonna go through and kind of touch all the shrimp. That's why I'm wearing gloves. You know, because. You know, don't, people don't want you touching their food all the time. Oh, that's a piece of ice. All right, more shell. More ice. Okay, I think that's all of it. All right, that is some good looking shrimp right there. Why isn't there any more shrimp? Huh? Why isn't there any more shrimp? Because that's all the shrimp that's in a two-pound bag of shrimp, sweetie. <laughs> and we're going to have quite a lot of meat in this anyway. So, all right. We've got andouille and shrimp. We do have shrimp and andouille. Make a good jambalaya there, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's not what we're making today. We're making gumbo. Yeah. So. My, my jambalaya and gumbo. Hey, Turkey O'Ghoul. Turkey O'Ghoul? Oh, that's her Discord name. Well, I thought it was Tokyo O'Ghoul. Yeah, hers is Turkey O'Ghoul. Because remember when y'all colored those turkeys and she made the scary one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ever since then. Alrighty. So. We did that for school. Yeah, you did. Now, we've got our shrimp. All nice and done up. And uh, normally I would walk this outside and throw it directly in the trash can because, man, shrimp shells can get whiffy. But whiffy. I, don't, I don't have to because the trash can's almost full. So, yay. yay. Save me a, save me a uh, trip. All right, watch out there. Okay, that now. It smells so good. I know, right? I love it. And I'm sitting um, right in front of it. Actually, uh, if you would, sweetie, get the lid for that bowl. We're going to put, watch the tripod, please. Get a get the lid for the bowl. Um, but how big is the lid? It's not the biggest. Uh, it's not the orange one, but it's the next size down from the orange one. I think it's the blue one. Um, and that's right. the blue one. It says two. Two and a half quart. I don't think that's it. Let me see it for just a second. It's two five quart. Uh, no, no. Uh, give me the give me the orange one. No, the red one. I'm sorry. Apparently, I don't color very well. Yeah, give me the red one. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna put a lid on this. We're gonna put this back in the fridge. Uh, your shrimp, your seafood. Uh, is not going to go in until probably about a half hour before it's ready. Uh, otherwise, it will overcook. And, um, yeah, nasty. You don't want that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to put this up. Um, hmm. Okay, and yeah, just right on top of all the rest of this here. Right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Scrimp is ready. Scrimp. To scrimp. Yeah. Okay. Now, let me get a seasoning. Plate. Uh, no, no, it is not time for seasoning just yet. Uh, okay. Now we've got to cut up our turkey and get it ready. Why can't you cut it up on that? I am. What do you that for? So I can put the done turkey in. Okay, um, so this turkey has already been cooked once, so it does not have to cook forever to be tender. However, we're going to cook it for about four or five hours on the stove uh, on a nice simmer. 
Um, so by the time it's all said and done, this turkey should be just falling off the bone. Like there, there'll be hardly anything left. Um, so this is turkey that I had cooked in the sous vide uh, that we ended up not eating um, the day that we ate the rest of the turkey. It's tor. Yeah, it's tore so it would, uh, I wanted to get most of the juices out. Dang it. Oh, it would help if you hold the knife in the proper direction. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got in here. Ooh, I've got some prizes in here. That's a turkey bottom, a turkey heart. Yeah, a turkey bottom. Yeah. yeah. The tail. It's tasty. All right, there's a turkey leg. And that is a turkey breast. Breast. All right. So. It's a breast. Yeah about some more of these juices. Now the thing about cooking with a sous vide is the meat retains so much more of the moisture that it, uh, man, it's just like, I mean, you can see it, right? You can see how just, it, it looks like it hasn't been cooked, but this meat was fully cooked, it was completely done. All right, so when I'm making the gumbo, I leave the leg bone intact. Um, it's going to fall off anyway, uh, but this allows for pulling out all of those thin bones much easier. Um, so I do that. Um, I'm going to leave this intact um, and hope that it still has uh, some kind of structural integrity at the end. This is going to be so good. Oh, hey, Perp. How you doing? Hey, uh, Purple Sage, uh, I met her through another streamer, um, and uh, she says the little voice in the background. So look at the look at the uh, camera. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. I'm the little voice in the background. I'm the little voice in the background. Okay, so that is the adorableness that is my daughter, the omelet. Did she respond to you? Yes, she did. She said hello, hello. There you go. So now we know who the mysterious viewer is. Welcome to my stream. Um, I said where I apparently, I thought my streaming life was going to be gaming, but apparently it's more cooking than gaming. All right, I, so. I said it was Little Man Pete. Uh, okay. That I'm going to have to set to the side. That was just uh, some turkey liver. It's fine. I said it was Little Man Pete. What, what was Little Man Peach? You know Little Man Peach. No, I don't. But you said it on your phone. I see that, Lurk. You do lurk. Real hard, you lurk. Oh. She lurks? Yeah, she's a lurker. What'd she okay. say? What'd she say? All right, so we've got some um, turkey liver in here, which I'm going to set to the side. I have not eaten lunch yet. So I'm going to heat some of this stuff up in the microwave and have it for my lunch. Oh, she said All right. I lurk real hard. Yeah, she does lurk really hard. Okay, <laughs> let me rinse my hands off real quick. Um, omelet, can you get me a, yeah. um, I need a small plate. Oh. Small plate. Yes, a small plate. Do you think what? you can help me with that? From where? Uh, I do not care from where. All right, um, let's see. Okay, so we've got the thigh here. Once you again. Be... Yes, just a small one. Okay, you mean right. Okay, uh, so again, the thigh, I'm going to go ahead and leave um, intact. Um, you mean like this? Yes, sweetie. Yeah, put it right there if you don't mind. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to leave the thigh basically intact uh, for its cooking. Um, as you can see, like just pieces are coming off of it um, because it cooked so well already, uh, which is good because these, these pieces right here, uh, those will um, cook up quite nicely. This thigh is about the size of a normal chicken breast, which is what I would typically use in a gumbo. Um, now, the wing here. As for the wing, I am going to go ahead and cut the wing up. Ugh. 
Sweetie, will you grab that onion and put it back in the onion box, please? What onion box? You know where we keep the onions and the potatoes? Oh. The potato bin. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this uh, wing up the into sections. The potato and onion bin. Yep, the potato and onion bin. And rice. Oh, yeah, and rice. <laughs> All right, so the hardest part is usually finding the knuckle. But sometimes it's just easier just to rip it apart. Okay, so I've got uh, the bulk of my meat ready to go. Uh, this last bit right here, this is the turkey breast. Um, <laughs> yes, bird thigh. Um, I'm gonna cut this into, I would say, boneless, skinless thigh type uh, chunks. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do, okay, this is the tender here. Pa. What is it, sweetie? Because I want something else for lunch. Oh, what else do you want for lunch? Just a little snack. Oh, okay, well go ahead and get a little snack. Okay. All right, so got some nice chunks there. Um, this stuff will cook now, like I said, in the gumbo as it cooks. Um, and now we're going to cut some bigger pieces. Um, I don't want to make like um, one inch squares like you would normally do with meat. This will fall apart. Per, I, would, I will remember you. That name just sticks with me. So, plus you made cool stuff. So, uh, normally... Um, when I'm prepping meat for food, I would make smaller chunks uh, of my meat uh, so that it can cook, but this is already cooked, so really all I wanna do th for this is warm it up some and maybe allow it to break down a little further. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna get this over on the plate. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and take these over. Excuse me. Yeah, excuse you. Um, I'm gonna heat that up in the microwave. That's gonna be my lunch. Oh, okay. Um, I'll be honest. I haven't followed completely to see what you were crocheting, but I'll have to go check it out. Um, okay, so I'm gonna make some fairly sizable chunks uh, so that you know when we serve it. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go ahead and cut that one down. Um, so that when we serve it, there's like nice big pieces you can eat off of. Um, oh, okay. So you haven't been posting it, so it's not my fault. Whew. Uh, I'm the self-conscious one. Oh, well, she was telling me uh, that she's been crocheting all year instead of painting. I like painting, and I haven't tried crocheting yet. I know. I'm going to learn how to sew. So that's going to be fun. Okay, so i got these nice sized chunks here. Now, once again, um, this meat has already been cooked. So it is actually not really dangerous to work with. I want to learn how to sell. Well, I will work on teaching you, sweetie. Um, but the stuff that has the bones in it, I'm leaving it in because since it is going to cook down for about four or five hours, that uh, bone in there will help flavor uh, everything else. Okay, so... The turkey has been cut, um, the andouille has been cut, the shrimp have been deboned. Uh, we're often uh, hoping to be able to offer OC care. Ooh. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, cool. What? All right. What'd you say? Um, she was talking about what her plans are. What are they? Uh, she was going to be making some character plushies. Character plushies? Yes. Oh, I want to do, can you add them to, um, um. You, you have my daughter intrigued, Per. Take pictures of the plushies and send them to us. She wants, she wants to see pictures, so you'll have to, uh, you'll have to message me on Discord to let me know, uh, when they come in. All right, so just so people aren't skeeved out, I'm going to uh, put this, which is some turkey liver, the turkey heart, the tail. Uh, I'm going to heat this up because uh, I need some food. 
I have not eaten but a piece of ham all day, and that's probably not a good thing. Um, all right, yeah, a minute ought to be fine for that. Okay. All right. So she says when she has some pics, she'll send it to you. Okay, sweetie? Yeah. All right, so um, that's the pretty much the prep work done with regards to um, making the um, all the cutting, all the chopping, and all of that. Uh, the rest of this is now going to be making a good gumbo. Okay, so she says when she takes pics, she'll let me know. Okay, so I told uh, earlier in the stream, I uh, informed people that I was going to be cheating my roux, um, which that is still the same. I'm still cheating my roux. Um, but it's still going to be somewhat of a roux. All right, so got a little flour there. Flour. Ooh. What? 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 Uh, she's working on a great, uh, the great fairy from Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Oh. Right. But I don't know that movie. I know you don't. It's a video game, sweetie. Oh. Yep. Have you ever played it before? Uh, I have played the Ocarina of Time. It's fun. It is fun. Um. Do you think so. you can play it again? Oh, uh, maybe. Um, let's see. I want to make sure I'm not uh, missing anything. And don't worry. I'm not going to make you watch me eat. That would be rude. Yes, I do remember the giant fairies. She hasn't seen it yet. Um... But I have an idea what you're talking about. So. I'm really sorry about eating on stream. I know that's a big no-no. But I can't help it. Uh, like I said, I haven't eaten. So. Not even breakfast? Have mud bomb. <laughs> you have to clean a mud bomb? No, it's, it's Korean. It's a stream where they just like eat a lot of Really? Usually it's a woman, but it's a, it's a whole thing. Wow. M-U-C-K-B-A-N-D. Mukbang or mukbang. Mukbang, huh? It's a, it's a whole thing. <laughs> that is not what this is going to be. <laughs> I'm just eating the stuff that I wouldn't put in the gumbo. <laughs> Hopefully off stream. Ooh, I see you're posting, Perp. I see you posting. Who? Oh. Oh, you mean that purple bow? Yeah, I want to say... Purple, didn't you make the, um... The, um... Braid-eating headband? Isn't that where I got, um... Isn't that where I got that from? That I, I, I gave to my wife? Yes. That's what I thought. Okay. So, yes, yeah, she still has it. So yeah, that is, um, that was some good stuff. Mmm. Much like this, this is good stuff right here. What are you eating? The, um, the liver, heart, and tail. Why is anyone watching you? Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, that was us. Um, I saw it and I was like, oh, I gotta have that. Um, I don't know why people watch me. Some people like me. I know you don't, but, you know, some people do. She's your, she's your wife. She should like you. Yeah, right? You get married. You didn't like me either. I love you. <laughs> it's not the same thing as liking. Where'd you get that smash shirt then? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the dude the Thomas shirt. And the Halloween shirt. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> I'm glad someone in this house is supporting me. <laughs> mm. 
I'm sorry, we'll get back to the cooking here in just a second. Mmm. I was just really hungry and didn't realize how hungry I was. Yes, isn't this high quality television? What's she saying? Well, she thought you were being sweet. Hi. <laughs> mm. Yes, very supportive. Ah, that is my, my sweet little omelet. All right. Okay, now that I've recharged my tank, what? I really need to get this on the stove so it can cook for a good four hours. Um, well, I'm sorry I had to stop for the roofer. You know, we got a roof leak. <laughs> Which hopefully he's taken care of. <sighs> you eat lunch, we're eating this for dinner. We are eating this for dinner, okay. So, how am I cheating my roux? All right, well, one thing to know is uh, a roux is normally made by taking oil, which, got the oil in the pot, look at that. Nice, even coat at the bottom there. Uh, it's by taking oil and putting flour into it and basically frying the flour. That's what makes a roux. Um, the closer you get to burnt without going over, it's kind of like the, um, uh, the old price is right. <laughs> Get it as close as you can without going over. Um, that is what you're trying to do with a roux. Uh, in this case, I have the Louisiana Products Gumbo Base, which is a roux cheat. However, I am still actually making a little bit of a roux, and that is what I'm getting ready to show you now. So, we're going to continue on with our work here. We are done cutting. So now I am going to be seasoning. Are you ready to hand me seasonings? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're just going to be using the dry stuff right now. We're going to use the wet stuff later. All right, salt. Mm -hmm. well. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was I was spinning. Uh, pepper. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. There are no uh, measurements on this. I do it all by sight. Um, garlic powder. No. Gra granulated garlic. That's garlic powder, basically. All right. I was mixed up with the onion powder and the garlic powder. I know, I know. All right, give me some onion powder. And even though it's not purple, can you give me some sage? Sage? Why, what's wrong with it not being purple? Well, look at what her name is. Oh. All right, uh, oregano. Oregano leaves. There we are. And thankfully, we are not out of time. Okay, time. Time leaks. Yep. Well, I almost have them. Okay, sage, oregano, and thyme. What else? All right, paprika. 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 <laughs> it's not baby paprika, though, so. All right. What else? Um, let's see. Give me the cayenne. Cayenne. Yep, cayenne. Cayenne pepper. Now... Be smart on your cayenne. You only need a pinch. Anybody else? <laughs> I imagine you do, perp. All right, uh, let's see. Celery salt. Celery salt, yeah. All right. Again, this is another thing you don't want to use a lot on. Yeah, I saw. 
Yeah, she likes it when people actually comment uh, parsley. So she she's really happy when people comment. Uh, I won't be using either one of those at this point. Th that goes in once we have our liquid done. Okay, uh, sweetie, I need you to take the... Let me get this out of the way for you. I need you to take that measuring cup there. Let me rinse all this down. Yep, that big one. I need exactly four cups uh -huh, of cold water. Four cups of cold water. Sage is a nickname. Oh! <laughs> it is a really good seasoning. It's one of my favorites. All right, and then parsley flakes, I like to grind down even further and have it almost be parsley dust. All right. Now, we're going to take the baby whisk and we're going to mix all this up. All right, so what I'm doing now... Okay, set it on the counter. Is it exactly four? Okay. There you go. Good job. All right. Yes. Okay, good deal. So this right here, um, what I'm going to do, uh, the turkey is still wet. I'm going to dredge the turkey in this flour. Um, I'm not going to create a full batter. M&M's. Not really M&M's. Can I <laughs> Oh, you need, you need one of these? Um, uh, I want to say last Christmas. Uh, love. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I, we do not need Whamageddon up in here. Oh, it's after Christmas now. So, anyway, um, I got these uh, from my lovely wife because uh, she knew how much I liked them. Because we've had this one that I'm going to actually be using for the bigger part. Oh, look, at this. look at the heart. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I really like that whisk. You always use it for eggs. I do. I do usually use it for my eggs. So, Cause they're so good. Um, she got these in a four pack that came with, like, this was the oddest thing. It came with a spoon. Like, uh, a, a tasting spoon. So, <clears throat> weirdest thing. You can taste okay. the gumbo. So, now we've got, and as you can see, um, a lot of the seasoning from when I cooked the turkey um, is still actually on it. Um, Does so, Mama know how to make pancakes? Huh? Does Mama know how to make pancakes? I don't know if she knows or not. I know she never has. Um, mm -hmm. That usually falls on me to do, but yep. it's fine. Um, okay, so now uh, I'm going to go over here, heat the oil. <laughs> oh, bless me. Uh, I'm going to go over here and heat the oil. Can I bring the thingy? What, what? What I miss? What did I miss? What? Okay. Um, mm. I'll catch up in a minute, Perp. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, I will get the gumbo on the stove. Golly. All right. So, we have the, gum, the oil heating up. So now we're gonna move things over. Wow, she got a lot. And I'm gonna go slow so you're not spinning, okay? Okay, here, here I am. I'm going slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay. So. What? There you go. Now you can see that pot. I'm gonna give you a little bit higher view here so you'll be able to see everything that's going on okay um, so uh, we're gonna let that oil heat up just a bit what oil the oil in the pot all right we've got our batter here or what we're gonna use is a batter and we have our turkey Okay, so 
Uh, once the oil heats up, Hey, love, what number do you think I should use? No. You've used this burner more often. No, what are you to do? Um, heating up the oil, I'm going to be, you know, lightly frying in it. Uh, so you want it high? Yeah. Uh, About a seven and a half? Eight? Uh, that's... I mean, you can try... It might go crazy on you, but it's a little easier to adjust the temperature. Okay. Uh, on this one, I more have trouble getting it to simmer, so. Okay. Oh, great. So I'm going to have trouble on the last part. Yes, you are. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. I forgot to do this. We need to go ahead and mix this up. But I can do it right here. No, I can't. You can't see. So while the oil is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the first part of. Huh? Yeah, I, I am wearing the Lord of the Strings shirt. Yeah. Oh, I like okay. that part. All right, so I'm going to cut this bag open here. All right. I really like that part. You mix it with a quart of cold water. I will mix. No, I will mix. You will throw this away. All right. So I want to make sure that this is good and mixed through. The second bag of it doesn't normally get mixed as well. But we're there's gonna... still settling at the bottom. Oh, yes. Yeah, there's a bunch of settling at the bottom. Hey, baby. <gasps> baby trying to get on the stream? Where'd the boy go to? He's playing Mario. Oh, that would explain it. <laughs> All right, so. He's being so quiet. Yep. All right. So that's nice and mixed up. Um, that's going to, after the turkey has uh, been nice and browned, uh, we'll pour this in. Okay, so we're gonna set this to the side. Let's see, we're gonna go right here with it. All right, put that there. I don't need my big stern spoon yet, but I will need, What about the spoon? No. What about the crab? Huh? Oh, the crab won't go in until about a half hour beforehand. All right, let's see. Um, Sweetie, I need you to watch the chat and make sure um, if, if uh, anyone talks again to tell me what they say, okay? Okay. All right, so the way that I normally test my um, oil is like I'm that. not too quiet. Okay. Oh, what it's saying is I don't have any new follows. I don't have any uh, new cool stuff like that follow subs I, I can't get subs or cheers or anything like that uh because i'm i haven't made the appropriate moves forward i guess okay <clears throat> and it's partly because of things like this like i know i have a next step ah now i remember okay so we're gonna get half of the onion we diced up earlier um and i'm telling this this onion is just aromatic it is wonderful. Hear that sizzling? Yeah, hear that sizzling. All right, Omri, give me the minced garlic out of the fridge. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the fridge, bottom of the fridge, bottom of the fridge door. Mm -hmm. Well, that's done. Oh, that's done. Yep. All right. out of minced garlic omelet will you add minced garlic to the list, list? oh i'm gonna have to save some of this for tomorrow 
uh, because tomorrow I will be making cabbage and black eyed peas for New Year's. So corned beef and cabbage and black eyed peas. I mean, if he wants to, we can ask him. All right, so I was wrong. I do need a big spoon. This is my big spoon. Big spoon. Also, I'm going to need a pot holder because, yeah. All right, so this is just. What is it, sweetie? Minced garlic. M I N C E D G A R L I C. Oh, M I N C E D. Oh, this is smelling just glorious. Oh, it is so good. Okay, G A R. L I C. L I C. Minced garlic. There you go. All right, so we want to get a, um, we want the onions to be translucent and the garlic to start to be brown. And what we're gonna do uh, after we get that done is. Hi. Uh, after we get that done is we're actually going to dredge the um, turkey in the flour batter that we made and put it in this pot and brown it. So, oh, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. What's it say? Spoon and big letters, and then the next one is because it's because of safety. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes, that is right. Okay, so um, my garlic is starting to burn, which I don't like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get um, get that turkey in there. So we're just going to, like I said, just gonna dredge it. And now we're gonna drop it on in there. Um, one of the pleasures of working with gloves is you can actually get in there with your hands and use up all of your stuff. All right, get this big bad boy before I run out of flour. Wow. That is a big old turkey leg right there. But I mean, it just, in gumbo, it just actually tastes so good. Um, didn't figure that out until we moved up here. Um, I was making gumbo and just Heather asked me, you know, hey, can you can you put turkey instead of um, chicken? And I was like, I don't know. I've never tried it with turkey. And it was one of the best gumbos I ever had. Uh, best gumbo I've ever made. Let's put it that way. So... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep dredging the turkey until um, we run out of flour. You don't want too much um, in there because it's uh, we're already gonna be using okra as well, so it's gonna be nice and thick. All right, but I want to make sure that I at least batter. I'll get you lunch, Mama. The um, the bigger pieces, the pieces with the bones. Um, okay. I can't get a lunch out. Well, then you can't get a lunch out. It's okay, sweetie. You try. It's hot on the side. Right. That happens. Okay. 
Well, she said at the beginning she um, she is a master of lurking. And what lurking is, is when you're in a channel watching, but you don't chat. You just watch what's going on, and you enjoy it. Yep, that's what lurking means. Mm. All right, so all of, oh, last of the bone pieces. Okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna taste real good. I can already smell it. Um, it does sound like I need to increase my temperature just a hair not sizzling as much as I would like. Okay. All right, so once you get the bottom of the pot filled, uh, this is a 15-inch uh, Magnolite is what I'm using. Um, I know some people have an 18-inch. Um, I find the 15 works really well uh, for most of the big meals that I'm making. All right, so I've got the bottom of it filled out. There's not really a whole lot of flour left. I mean, there's some, but not a lot. And there's a lot of meat left, but it's already been cooked, so I don't have to brown it again. Um, hello and welcome to the person who has joined us. Um, we are making a gumbo, a turkey gumbo. All right, so this is how I cheat my roux. Happy baby. What is it, happy baby? What is it? You so happy? All right, let me get this out of the way. I'm gonna rinse my hands real quick. Um, and I mean, you know, for, just be glad that I'm not wearing a like steady cam or something like that. Or uh, you'd be spinning everywhere with the way that I move around. All right. So now we're browning this flour. This is gonna make a pseudo roux. It's not a real roux because I'm not going to be stirring it or anything like that. Um, but here we go. <laughs> all right. We're going to turn all this stuff over. Let it brown on the other side. Mm. I, I wish you could smell this. It is just, it is so... So wonderful and smelling so nicely. Well, okay. They did not stay. Whoever it was. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add, we're gonna do another stir to my roux base here. Sorry, it's all off camera at this point. All right, uh, but yeah, and my only problem with the way Twitch works out is like, I don't know how to check and see who's there. So I can be like, hey, welcome, you know, I hadn't seen you until they pop up in chat. And I know there's a thing that, you know, I need to get a bot set up so that it would, you know, when people, you know, come into the room, it'll tell me. Especially since I have so few people who could stop by. Um, all right. But this is coming along wonderfully. And this turkey meat is just so, it's already tender and moist. Um, so... It's just, it's wonderful. All right, get that down in there. Put you on this side again. And that's more of the sizzle I was wanting, um, kind of a higher sizzle. Let's see. We'll turn your face down like that, and we'll go ahead and flip the, oh, no, we're gonna flip that thigh back over, like that. Get it more toward the middle where the heat is. Um, and can I just say, I hate electric stoves. I, I want a, uh, a gas stove 
but it's gonna cost a lot of stimulus to do that. <laughs> That's the best way I know to put it. Um, okay. So, I'm just about ready to call this done um, and pour in the, um, the base. Uh, and at that point, it will be a lot of high-speed moves. Um, so, try and keep up, I guess, best I can say. Um, because it's going to be... So, here's, here's what's going to happen. Um, after this is brown, I'm going to add the mix the base that I have right here. I'm going to add that in. I'm going to run over to the, to the sink. I'm going to get me another four cups of water, pour that in. I'm going to get another four cups of water, mix another bag of the base, pour that in. Four more cups of water, pour that in. And then I'm going to start adding uh, my seasonings, vegetables, and stuff like that. So it's going to be a lot of rapid fire stuff. Uh, if I forget to say something, just yell at me because that's the best way. Yes. I've had a gas, like I've had gas stoves in the, all the houses before this one. Um, and it was kind of one of the drawbacks when we bought this was that it was a um, electric stove. And, you know, we were told, well, just try it and see, you know. Maybe you might end up liking it. No, I do not like this stove. I do not like it, Sam I am. I do not like this janky stove. And I'm sorry to Kenmore, but this stove is lame. It does not uh, cook well. Um, I hate the fact that I can't turn my heat immediately on and immediately off. Um... I don't know why people like stoves like this, but you know, whatever. All right, yeah. Okay, so uh, you may not be able to see this, but kind of down in here, uh, there's some of the darker breading. So that'll help to thicken it up and provide a lovely seasoning uh, to it. All right, so. We're gonna give this one last stir. Ooh. Make sure it's all mixed. And we're gonna pour it in. We're gonna currently leave the temperature where it's at because I want it to get hot again. But um, the water that we're using by the directions for this base is a cold water. So, that's what I'm using. There we go. Okay, so about half the pot. Not bad. All right, so we're gonna do one more mix. I've lost my little helper. My guess is she's playing Mario Kart on the DS. Or getting her nails did, one of the two. Oh, mom had to eat lunch. Okay, so you're playing DS right now. All right, so. All right, next bag, oh base. Well, Purple, I, I at least appreciate you hanging out with me. Uh, it's nice to have at least a viewer. Um, which, actually, that kind of is my average. I, I get one person, uh, except for my first turkey prep stream. I had, I think, three people hang out. Um, but normally, I just get the one person willing to hang out with me while I cook. So, all right. Now, all right. And if you watch the pot there, you can see... Um, it's starting to boil, which is kind of what we want. We're not going to want a full boil, per se. Um, but we do want it. We're going to be simmering this for probably the next four hours or whatever time it is. I don't know what time it is. Let's see. It's 1.20. So, yeah, probably the next four hours we're going to let this simmer down um, at about an hour 
Now, probably about a half hour, 45 minutes left to eat is when we will add the shrimp that we peeled and the uh, crab meat. So, all right, that is nice and mixed. We're gonna add that. And we're gonna get another four cups of water. This is per package instructions on that mix. Okay, so we might add some more water to that, uh, but first we need to add the rest of our vegetables and stuff. Oh, that was you. I was wondering who was there. <laughs> I was wondering who my other one was. Okay, well good. I'm glad you, uh, did you enjoy yourself? Um, at least. I mean, I understand. I lurk too. I'm bad about it. You know, I do, I, I do at least, uh, now try to say hi now that I know how bad it feels. <laughs> uh. uh, don't be scared to say hi, especially not on my stream. Nobody else is here. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to add in this undoing. All right, all that's in. Oh, now we're gonna take the rest of this turkey. We're gonna go ahead and put it in. All right. So, well, you saw, this is the Thanksgiving turkey. This is what, what's left of the Thanksgiving turkey. Um, so you saw how I seasoned it. So now all that seasoning's in there too. Oh, well, it happens. Uh, okay, we're gonna add the squash. Yummy. Um, Cause they wanted it cooked down. All right, let's see. Hey, 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 hey. Stop trying to get out of there. Crazy? The girl's crazy. All right, uh, let's see. Do you know why y'all don't get along? Uh, do you know what uh, what might be causing the problems? Okay, I need some seasoning blend. Cause I cheat. I mean, I already put the onion in there, but like I said, this stuff right here, it works so well. Um, since I already put the onion in there, I'm only gonna use uh, about three quarters of the bag, as opposed to the whole bag, or about half, I guess. But all those veg seasoning vegetables really help bring out the flavor of everything. Uh, this gumbo is really good, Perp. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie at all. This is one of the better meals that I make. All right, let's see here. And look at those colors. Look at those pretty colors. Hello. Get some of this bone in meat off the bottom there. Kind of get it to where it'll move around. All right, so. The last step, I guess I'm not gonna add any uh, liquid because this looks good. Oh no! Oh, if I forgot this, I would die. Like, because Heather would kill me. Ugh. Again, I know it's kind of a cheat, but it works.
This is an okra gumbo because literally the French word for okra is gumbo. So all those people who argue, hey, okra don't go in gumbo. Yes, it does. I didn't like okra gumbo for a long time. I changed. I grew. Okay. So now, about half a bag of okra. Uh, you can put more or less, depending on what you like. Now, sorry, I keep having to go get uh, twist ties. All right. Oh, seasoning girl. Um, okay, so okra, if not done right, is slimy and stringy and nasty. Uh, okra, if done right, can be very flavorful um, and is a good vegetable. Okay, I need you to start bringing my seasonings over here because we're going to season the gumbo pot now. Oh, that could be fun. Can I help? Yes, you can help. Ah, <sighs> so... And one of the things you're getting to see purple is my base seasoning for most things. Um, this is kind of what I put in just about everything that I stew or soup or anything like that. Because um, these are the flavors that we like. Uh, this is this is how my household cooks, basically. So. I want to help pour it in. Um, I don't know about that, sweetie. All right. Gonna start with the pepper. And basically, again, this is not a measured amount, but I, yeah, don't forget the, um, the Worcestershire and the Tabasco sauce, sweetie. Um, in about an hour, I will come check the flavor and add whatever other seasonings I need. Mm -hmm. Huh? Thanks, No. Oh, yeah, you know what? I probably will taste it with the pink spoon, uh, but not right now. All right, so a few things that we didn't have in our batter. Uh, we got some dehydrated green onion. Uh, we've already got minced garlic in there, but you can't have enough garlic when you're cooking in Louisiana. This is how we can be so fat and still not have all the heart diseases. My wife will say that that's not true, but it is because I don't have the heart diseases. I am diabetic now, but I do not have the heart diseases. Ah, uh, so. Um, oh, okay. Uh, like some I just can't. Seems like a good base. Thank you. Um, uh, I want to game, um, but it's, I've had some issues with my stream, and I don't have, like, enough sc screens, really? To do it justice i think i might now though um so yes i do plan to game um we just finished up me and the kids just finished up god of war um and that was a lot of fun um our next the next one we're planning on doing is going to be um well i've got to finish up god of war first i think i'm gonna get the platinum on that one um and then um then the next one's going to be probably spider-man um at least that's kind of the game plan, I think. Yes. 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 Um, I hit 30 and uh, my... No, here's something. Explain to me this. That's bay leaves. We're just going to put that kind of lid on it. Uh, which one, God of War or uh, Spider-Man? And one more bay leaf for good measure. Come on. Ah, okay. Yeah, I've heard really good things about Spider-Man, and I think it's going to be right up my alley to be honest. All right. Again with the oregano. Yeah, my uh my cooking is 
um, very, like an almost Italian based. Um, but it, it's all from growing up in South Louisiana, the way my mom cooked, a little bit more sage. Basically everything that I put into the um, flour batter, I'm gonna use plus. Um, so, well, I mean, I see that purple. If you're, if you're willing to watch me um, prep a turkey <laughs> and cook gumbo, then yeah, you watch all kinds of stuff. All right, some more paprika. All right. What? I mean, I'm only mildly entertaining. All right, a little bit more. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Well, I thank you for hanging out with me. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm even more thankful that you decided to uh, unlurk. Which, I mean... That's a, that's a big deal. All right. A little bit more celery salt. Yeah, no doubt. Don't want to use too much. It'll be over salty. Okay, now. I use Tabasco sauce like Justin Wilson did. So. There we go. That sounded about right. And now some Worcestershire. Have I ever made a bad gumbo while you're over there de deriding my Tabasco usage? Ah, uh, okay. You were deriding my use of the sink then. <laughs> All right, so I think that is it, seasoning wise. Um, so, now we're gonna get this to a simmer. I'm, I gotta make sure that nothing's sticking to the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this again. Ooh. Yeah, that turned out good last time, didn't it? I remember hearing about that. You know, you could stream. I'm sure you'd find a, a, a person or two who would watch. Oh. Who enjoy your presence. Oh. Alrighty. So now, while that is getting up to its simmer, I'm gonna be picking up all of the seasonings <laughs> More than a potato for a computer, huh? Hey, I mean, my uh, my video card is way low on the age range. It's a 950, I think. Either 950 or 960, one of the two. So, it, uh, <laughs> it gets overloaded a bit because I like to do things. I'm still working on video editing and audio editing and stuff like that. Oh. Oh, so you're just doing this kind of stuff on your phone, huh? Well, I mean, that's what I'm actually, um, that's what I'm actually streaming from right now is my phone. Believe it or not. <clears throat> I got me a tripod stand. And, uh, Twitch will let you stream from your phone, which... That's what allowed me to do the cooking thing, which I thought was really cool. Because I like to cook. Ooh, HP Pro Desk, huh? I have to see the specs on that. Now, the fun part's gonna be getting this centered. All right, right there. I can hear it bubbling down there. It's just not getting up to the top. All right, now let me grab a paper towel. I would have gotten that low. But thank you. We're gonna try and clean up some of this mess. 
The only benefit to the electric stove is I can get closer to the burner without burning a paper towel. All right. Okay. Well. Are you done with this? Yes, I am. Yes, I, I take free computers as well. Um, I'm not going to leave this stream up for, you know, the next four hours while it just simmers because mm, that's be a waste of my data and probably a waste of your time because I'm probably going to go take care of some other stuff. Um, but anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, this has been a stream of the Reformed Gamers. Um which is a podcast all about gaming and theology, but apparently I cook. So uh, thanks for hanging out with me, and uh, if you would, please join me again. Thank you. Goodbye. Yes, it was nice to chat. Bye-bye. <laughs> there we go.